गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स विद अपाला इंजीनियरिंग एंड जर्नल जियोलॉजी परवीन सिंह बुक चैप्टर नंबर फोर जियोलॉजिकल वर्क ऑफ वाटर हियर इनसाइड दिस चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन वर्क ऑफ स्ट्रीम्स एंड रिवर टर्मिनोलॉजी सोर्स ऑफ स्ट्रीम वाटर रिवर प्रोफाइल जियोलॉजिकल वर्क मैथड ऑफ रिवर इरोजन रेट ऑफ रिवर इरोजन फीचर ऑफ स्ट्रीम इरोजन सेडिमेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट बाई रिवर्स डिपोजिशन बाई रिवर्स रिवर मैंडरिंग नॉर्मल साइकिल ऑफ इरोजन स्ट्रीम एंड ड्रेनेज पैटर्न फ्लर्ट्स एंड जियोलॉजिकल वर्क ऑफ सी टर्मिनोलॉजी जियोलॉजिकल वर्क द सी वेव्स एंड करेंट मेराइन इरोजन फीचर ऑफ मेराइन इरोजन मेराइन डिपोजिशन सो कंट्रोल प्रॉब्लम्स वर्क ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर ग्राउंड वाटर केमिकल वर्क ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर डिपोजिशन ऑफ डिपोजिशन बाय ग्राउंड वाटर एंड मैकेनिकल वर्क सो फर्स्ट ऑल ऑफ ऑल वी नो अबाउट द टिपिकल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर जियोलॉजिकल वर्क ऑफ वाटर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन डिटेल ask here water is the greatest modifier of a surf surface topography discuss the statement critically so in this regard we make a diagram with the labeling and examples brief descriptions okay second question explain briefly the geological work of river giving example of topographical feature of a great important uh, developed due to river erosion and river deposition and question number 3 in details give a detailed account of erosive work of river include river erosion and river deposition give a detailed account of erosive work of river in e lucy see dating principles and important feature of river erosion question number 4 discuss engineering problems of marine erosions and deposition how these process differ from those of streams and question number 5 so write a short note on any 4 5 first base level of erosion second saltation third is escarpment fourth is river valley fifth is sea waves sixth is reefs and seventh is dolines and eighth is a wave cut terrace ninth is a rivers meandering tenth is cave and ninth is a stalactite and stalagmite question number 6 tick the right answer here first a here question is base level of river erosion means what is so we select one answer first of all we observe from the lowest level of a river valley in a given region second the lowest level up to which a stream can theoretically cut down its channel and thirds the option the capacity of a river to erode its base and fourth none of the above so answer is second the lowest level up to which a stream can throw theoretically cut down its channel and b saltation is a terms used for expressing so here we select one options a method of sediment transport first of all we note every time so, so read every option carefully and connect with question what asking okay first a method of sediment transport by wind and water is a series of jump jumps or in sinking a uh, skidding and sliding manners second a method of sediment transport in which loads is transported in a dissolved salt form and third is a process of formations of a salt by evaporation of river water uh, or fourth option is none of the above so answer is first a uh, first uh, first is a method of sediment transport by wind and water in a series of jumps or in skidding and sliding manner question number c in incised meanders developed in here select one option first we read mountain nearest region of a youthful rivers second flood plains areas of a mature rivers third is the deltic take regions of old age rivers and fourth is none of the above condition first answer is the mountainous region of youthful rivers d an oxbow lake is actually 
option select one salt lake formed in the coastal areas when sea water gets trapped in an isolated depression second a fresh water lake occurring in the mountainous region third an isolated uh, detached loop of a meandering river in the lower region and fourth is none of the above so selections we select one answer third an isolated detached loop of a meandering river is uh, in lower region and e atolls is a, a term used for uh, select one answer remnant outstandings obstructions in peniplations that has with uh, with stood with stood the erosive work of the river and second caves formed by the solvent action of groundwater third is the deposition of coral reef group surrounding a central water body or lagoon and fourth is none of the above so e we select third number deposition of coral reef group surrounding a central water body or lagoon and f question stalactite and stalagmite are feature of first we select one streams erosive erosions developed in limestone reason by specific chemical reactions second is marine erosion and deposition formed along the coastal region by selective erosion uh, followed by deposition by water wave and third is a groundwater deposition in caves formed by say, precipitation from the dipping water rich in say, dissolved uh, calcium carbonate and fourth is none of the above the third answer is uh, ground water deposits in caves formed by the precipitation from dipping water rich in the dissolved calcium carbonate question number 4th in detail uh, seventh sorry question number 7th in details compare and contrast work of erosion performed by three natural agencies river ground water and marine waves on the surface of the earth bringing out clearly similarities and dissimilarities and question number 8th in detail Floods are as natural phenomena, phenomena as earthquakes, but floods have some positive contributions in terms of their repeated, repeated occurrence. Discuss both the negative and positive aspect of floods. Thank you.